Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you how I made an acrylic painting for the space where I work with my herbs. It's quite a large painting and I didn't have a large enough canvas and I don't mind painting on walls. I've done it loads of times before. So that's what I did here. And uh, my inspiration was this photo that I found online. Uh, I love the nature, I love the feeling of it. And it's a bit mystical, which I like. The only thing I don't like about it is that a stone structure or wood or whatever it is in the, right in the center of that bridge. It makes it look a little bit like an evil eye and that part I don't like, so I will not paint that part. It will not look like this photo, of course. I'm not that good, but I will make my interpretation of it and you are welcome to join me. So, let's do this. The wall is already painted in a white color and I have um, made a square just how large I want it and not to paint outside that square. And my square is 140 centimeters times 82. I have sketched out with a pencil the main features in uh, this painting. Make sure that uh, the bridge is completely round. I used uh, surfing plates as my template to do that and here I am uh, using several green shades and white, yellow and uh, black to mix them and uh, I look at the picture and not to get the exact nuances but to know approximately where to put the shades and uh, the lighter colors to see approximately where the sun hits the trees and the bridge etc this is just a base coat so i'm not worried uh, about any details i'm just uh, patching the different base colors onto the wall At this point, I'm not trying to make it look like anything specific. I just paint what I see, where it's dark, where it's light. And then after this coat has dried, I start with the details of the painting. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, high-end jupes, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. And this is how it looks after a couple of hours of camera painting and I have begun with the details I've done some detailing on the bridge already and uh, now I'm on to the forest behind the bridge giving it a little more details more shading to make it look more alive different colors so it gives you a depth
I have advanced a little bit more uh, but still a lot to do with all the details I start with the shoreline on the right hand side mixed in some beige color and now I'm on to the backdrop right behind the bridge as you do see me do here different shades different tones and the reflection in the water as you can see I've started to use a sponge dapping my way I thought that was much easier than to use a paintbrush for the bigger surfaces and I continue to do that here as well now thinking of the reflection of the trees and I try to mimic them upside down a little bit harder but uh, it doesn't need to be perfect uh, images are a bit distorted when reflected in the water anyway so it doesn't need to be the exact reflection and here I'm working on the other shoreline and you constantly mixing colors and dabbing them on and now it's time to go to the left hand side of the painting and start painting the trees on top of the hill where the sun is so it's much much lighter colors over here to start with the tree trunks and the branches and once the tree trunk has dried a bit I start dabbing with different green colors to create the leaves of the tree. Now I'm on to making the water surface look like a water surface and not just upside painted features. So I'm taking white, a little bit uh, tainted with green, just to make some reflections on the water, just a bit here and there, not everywhere. And I make sure that they are horizontal so it looks cohesive it looks like water the next step in my water surface procedure is to take a large paintbrush and I have this mixture of white mostly white and just a hint of green and mix it with a lot of water and I take this solution and I brush it horizontal across the painting of where the water is and I have a rag at hand to wipe off the excess just like you would do when you whitewash a wood piece. Now I just need to sign my painting and put a frame on and my husband is helping me do that. And here it is, looking pretty I think. Tell me what you think. Does it look like a magical forest? Let me know in the comments. I 
I thought this branch looked a little bit like driftwood so I thought it was a nice addition to the painting so I placed it onto the frame, just screwed it into place. If you like this video and videos just like this be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more inspirational videos. Except for now, during the summer, I post one, two or sometimes even three videos per week. If you want to see some DIYs that I made straight away, just hit that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.